Welcome back to Miwa Japanese Kitchen. Today I will break down all the process of how you can plan a meal prep to save your time and money and to be healthy. Thanks to meal prep, I only spend less than 30 minutes each day and still manage to make three meals for kids, including bento box. When I first started making a meal prep, I didn't know what to start with, but it has been five years and now it becomes my habit. Just like riding a bicycle, once you know how to do it and you're never gonna forget. And just a little head note that if you see this recipe alert sign, that means the recipe is already existing on my blog or the channel. The other link is on the description box below. Now let's get started. Meal prep is all about planning and organizing. To do that, I always divide it into three categories in terms of the storage life. First one is the things can be last for a month, which refers to the frozen items. From my previous video, my frozen homemade gyoza and frozen miso pork mince belongs to this category. I go to wholesale market on Sunday and buy lots of protein sources with affordable prices. For example, this chicken comes with one kilogram and I'm not gonna finish everything in one meal, so I always marinate with some sauce and freeze them like teriyaki chicken or salt and lemon chicken and so on. Then all I have to do is whenever I need, just defrost them and grill it or saute with veggies. I change up the protein sauces depending on what's on sale in supermarket. I always stock up at least 5 different frozen items and whenever the stock are running out, I make another one. I just feel very secure having frozen items in my fridge, especially I have no time to go to supermarket. I can make a whole video about this frozen item, so let me know if you guys want in the comment section. The second category is the one last 5 days. That means you can cover entire weekdays if you make one on Sunday. My ramen egg, homemade dressing, braised meat and veggies, pickles, curry and stew all comes in this category. Those are usually grab and go type or you can just heat it up in microwave to enjoy throughout the week. My kids tend to get bored with eating same things so I try to be very creative without much effort. Just like I showed in the Nikujaga video, Nikujaga is a Japanese style meat and potato stew. I make a batch of Nikujaga and on the next day, I mash and turn them into Japanese croquette. Nobody in my family really complains or they don't even notice it. Other than that, chashu pork will turn into noodle salad and fried rice. So be creative and make a most useful what you already made for the meal prep. If you have leftovers, you can always freeze them to fill up your arsenals in category number one. Especially the curries and stew freezes beautifully. One more thing comes into category number two is chopping veggies. Because I usually buy in bulk, so I have so many onions and carrots and garlic and so on, each week I buy any vegetable in abundance. For fall, things like mushrooms and sweet potatoes, and for winter, daikon radish and Chinese cabbage. Seasonal veggies are often cost effective and nourish your body with what you naturally need in season. Then cut all the leftover veggies into small dice. My family loves soup. So I make soup every day with different soup stock using multiple veggies, dry herbs, and spices. When it comes to soup, cutting is the most time consuming part, so I always do it ahead of time and depending on the vegetable, but chopped vegetable usually lasts up to 4 days. When you have chopped vegetable ready, you tend to cook and eat more veggies which guides you healthy eating habits. Moreover, you can minimize the food waste. And as a additional tips, if you have a piece of leftover vegetable like leaf part of leek or ginger, stem of mushroom, skin of onion and carrot, anything you might toss away, I keep those and make a soup stock out of it. My chicken soup, which is very first video on this channel, kind of came from this idea. I put green part of leek, ginger and drum chicken into the pot and simmer, then it become very flavorful hearty soup. I make this at least once a week for my family. I highly recommend to use organic veggies if you are using skin to make a soup stock. Finally, the category number three. 
The things you have to consume on the same day or next day. I make meal prep on Sunday, so what I make actually double as a dinner on Sunday night. So I make two or three dishes for dinner, and some leftover will be enjoyed on the next day. For example, raw fish should be eaten in the same day. Leafy green salad after you tossed with dressing, which tends to get soggy, and stir fry noodle. This one should last three days, but to retain the texture, I prefer to finish it on the same day. Rice bowl tends to get dry if you keep it in the fridge for long. There you have it. Now I want you to think of your case. What kind of dish you are sorting into each categories? It can be casserole dish or pasta or some healthy dessert or just the fruits. Because we all live in a different countries, what's available and what's most cost effective really varies. But if you adapt my way into your case, maybe you can start from one, not zero. If you have any additional ways of organizing meal prep, let me know in the comment below so that we can all share and support each other to make our cooking life better. I hope some of you find this video useful, and thank you so much for watching. See you on the next video. Bye bye, またね.